This is question 13 from paper 2 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're shown a picture of the entrance to a tunnel. It's a circle and there's a triangle. A segment is missing. This segment of the circle is missing. Now, we can talk about names of things here. This part of a circle is called a sector and that's 50 degrees. We've also got a major sector. That's a minor sector, but the major sector would be all of this, which goes with 310 degrees. That's 360 minus this 50. Now, the way to calculate areas of these sectors, if, if we do, for instance, if we look at a circle and we're looking at, for instance, this sector, with a 90 degree, we know it's a quarter of the circle, but the 90 degrees compared to the 360 of a complete turn round here for the whole circle, that's your quarter. And for instance, if we have a circle with the angle at the centre of the sector being 180, you know that's half the area of the circle. 180 compared to 360 is one half. So we're comparing, for instance, this minor sector would be 50 over 360, that fraction of the whole circle, or this major sector would be 310 over 360, that fraction of the whole circle. So once we've now got that, sorted. Let's look at the the way we'll tackle this question to find the area of the, the cross section. So the strategy I'm going to use is that the area of the cross section is, and I'm going to use that large sector that goes with 310 degrees. So there's that large sector, the major sector, plus I'm then going to add in this triangle. So it's a major sector plus triangle. So the formula we need, what fraction of the circle is this? It's 310 compared to 360, that fraction of the circle, which we know as area pi r squared. We'll come to that, fill in the details in a minute. Plus, this triangle, there is a formula that says uh, area of triangle is a half a b sine c. You'll be given that in your exam on the formula sheet. It means that in this case it's a half of 7 times 7 times the sine of 50. There's a half 7 times 7 times the sine of 50. So 310 360ths of pi and the radius of this circle is 7 so pi times 7 squared plus a half of 7 times 7 times sine 50. So that's the calculation that we have to do. So first off, 310 divided by 360. That fraction of pi times 7 squared. We've then to add one half of, that's 0 0.5, times 7 times 7, times whatever the sine of 50 is. Now, if you're using um, a trig function like sine, you have to make sure you're in degrees. And that comes to 151.5. 3, 2, and so on. So the area of the cross-section is approximately, we'd better check whether we're 
we're given a accuracy or not. No, we're not. Let's take it to one decimal place. So it's approximately 151.3 square metres. And that's to one decimal place.